Okay, so I've had um, a, an email account on my own server for about 15 years now, uh, which means because it is an old email address and I don't want to get rid of it, um, it has been given to spam companies. Um, you know, they start exchanging and selling, somebody starts selling my email address, and so now it's all over the place. And on a, any given day, I can get a couple hundred spam emails, uh, which really gets annoying. Um, I've tried using Spam Assassin through my server to filter it, um, which does a fairly good job. Um, however, there are certain spams that will still get through no matter what, and I, I get them every single day, um, and it kind of gets annoying. I actually have, due to a lot of a lot of filtering that I've set up on my email software and using Spam Assassin, I still would get about 20 to 30 a day that would get through. So. Um, I came up with another solution. It's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but it works. And I kind of did it just to test it, and I'm I'm really happy with it. Now, what you can do is you you can go out and get a G Suite uh, through Google, where you'd pay five dollars uh, per email account that you use, or you can just use a regular Gmail, and that's what I'm doing. So I have a regular Gmail account. And I basically um, just uh, just added Gmail, and so what I do is I have Gmail go and act as my email software, and it, it goes to my server and it retrieves the the emails off of my server, and then on my but I don't like to I don't like Gmail I don't like looking at at it here I don't like this um, I'd rather use my email software, and I I anyway I use I believe uh, Mailbird or um, I I've also used email client and. Um, and stuff like that. And there's also Outlook, um, and there's there's a whole bunch of other ones out there. But um, I don't like using Gmail, and so what I end up doing is I have my email software go and retrieve all my emails from Gmail. So it kind of goes through a few additional hops, um, but it only it doesn't take that much longer to do that. Now this here that I'm showing you is actually just it's one of my other Gmail accounts, and I actually use this just for um, just for when I sign up for a website that I don't really care to hear any other information from them but they require me to give them an email address so I sign up and um, I give them this email address and then um, then I don't ever look at it so uh, so just understand that this is not my regular email account here so how you go about doing this is first first step we want to have Gmail go and retrieve all of our emails from the server from whatever email uh, account we have so you go into uh, into here you click on the gear go into settings and then you want to click on accounts and import and uh, what you'll do is you'll add an account and that opens up a new box uh, you'll add in the email address, click next. It's going to prompt you just like email software will. It's going to ask you for the POP information, for the SMTP information. So for incoming and outgoing information, it might ask you for the ports. It might ask you if it uh, needs to have an SSL on it. Um, it'll ask you all these different things. So you're going to have to fine tune that and make sure you get all your settings just right and kind of just fiddle with them to get your settings perfect. And you might be able to look at your email software and compare it to the and compare you know that to this and, and to kind of get it right so that takes care of that to where now Gmail takes all those emails and it filters them and it only spits out the good stuff to the inbox they're really good at that and um, and they also will filter out um, viruses and stuff like that as well um, I've had it uh, tell me oh, this is a virus and I'm like great get rid of it um, and so uh, every once in a while you might want to just go into your spam folder just to check and make sure that nothing good got thrown in there but uh, I you know I do it every once in a while and usually it's nothing really really important that gets thrown in there it's usually you know a website that I've signed up for uh, you know some company that's sending me a newsletter or something like that and they happen to get in there and if that happens you just mark it it'll have a little box up up near the top that'll say um, it's just a little box that will say spam and if you just click on the X that's on that it unmarks it as spam and puts it into your inbox and that kind of trains Gmail as well that the next time don't treat it as spam okay so that takes care of that the next thing we need to take care of is we need to be able to have our email software go and get the email off of our um, Gmail account 
And the way you do that is you want to make sure that forwarding and pop IMAP is enabled. And so you go ahead and click on those and enable those. Um, here's some additional things that you might want to look over. Um, and then uh, then what you'll do is um, you'll you'll go to your software and I can't really show you that because all the software is different you'll go to your email software that you want to retrieve all your Gmail from and you'll get rid of all the other accounts so here's a bit of a problem and so don't don't follow me don't follow along watch the whole video before you do any of this um, but you'll get rid of all your accounts and then you'll add just the Gmail account so now you, you don't want the uh, you don't want both of them fighting and, and you know trying to get the emails um, and so you want to stop that one have them go through Gmail and go through into your email software but here's the problem is that say you have a business called Bob's Market and you own bobsmarket.com and you would rather have your emails to your clients say bob at bobsmarket.com um, as the from email address and if you only add gmail to your outlook or thunderbird or whatever you're using um, which is your your email software then um, it's only going to say um, maybe you maybe you register for bobsmarket at gmail.com so um, then it's it's only going to say in the from line as Bob's Market at gmail.com, which isn't horrible, but it's maybe not the most professional. And the most professional would be to actually have your own domain name in there. And so, oftentimes, you can add um, aliases. I can't. Each each software program calls them different things. Um, uh, they call them aliases, or sometimes they just call them outgoing accounts, uh, things like that. So before you go removing all the accounts, you might want to leave outgoing ones enabled so that you can still email from those email addresses. So um, and and if you know and, and if your software actually happens to have an option to add um, an alias, and let me pause it for a second. I'm going to look and see what mine calls. Mine calls it something totally different. Okay, I'm back. I went and looked at my software that I use, and it actually calls them identities. So each software calls it their own little thing. So you might want to just see if they have identities or aliases or whatever, and add those. So that as you email, um, it, as those come in, uh, you'll see that they're actually um, that you can reply to them, and then you just choose, you know, I want to reply as Bob at Bob'sMarket.com. Uh, some of them will even automatically choose that for you because as my emails come in from Gmail, they actually say who they were from originally, or who they're to originally. So it'll actually say it was to uh, whatever my my real email address is, not my Gmail account. So I can actually tell who they sent it to. Um, I can still do filtering based on that. So on my my email software, I can filter it and uh, based on who the email was originally to and things like that. Anyway, this has been a big time saver for me to be able to go in and have Gmail do all my filtering for me. Uh, they do, like I said, they do a wonderful job at it. I, I was very impressed. The first week I was just like, wow, this is, is so good. I kept telling my wife, ah, oh, I love that I did this. It, it has cleared up all my, my spam problems and it's wonderful. So uh, hopefully we can cut out the spam and, um, and this will work great for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and be sure and like this video. Thanks.